the entrance Antiphon, the Lord chose for him for himself as high priest, and opening his treasure house, made him rich in all good things. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, on this feast day of St. Pius V, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your providence raised up Pope St. Pius V in your church, that the faith might be safeguarded, and more fitting worship may be offered to you, grant through his intercession that we may participate in your mysteries with lively faith and fruitful charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up and go south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet, and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shear is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself? or about someone else. Then Philip opened his mouth and, beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus, and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all, all the, the earth, earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls. He has not let our foot slip. Let all, all the, the earth, earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on his lip, was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not, the prayer, my prayer, or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down 
from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, friends, as we celebrate this feast day of St. Pius V, uh, we, all, we always see the importance of proper teaching because St. Pius came uh, to the throne there of St. Peter basically in a very tumultuous time because the Protestant Reformation was fully underway. And again, there was a lot of confusion in the church and it was Pius who ultimately led the church through the Council of Trent that reaffirmed the teachings of the church. But it's always important to us to understand that proper teaching in our own lives because as we see in that reading from Acts this morning, Philip instructs again the Ethiopian eunuch who's heading back home after worshiping in Jerusalem and basically he doesn't understand what he's reading in the prophet. He's sitting there and he's trying to make heads or tails of it and it's Philip's instruction that ultimately unlocks everything for him and leads him to being baptized after he hears about Christ and again the prefiguring that was taking place in the prophet. For you and I, we also need that understanding too. But just like again, the man who receives this gift with great joy and ultimately gets baptized, you and I then need to take this gift of knowledge as we receive it and put it into action. It's not enough merely to know, but we have to again then live what we've ultimately come to understand. And our Lord points this out more than anything in listening to John's Gospel this morning. Because as we listen to him talk about himself being the bread of life, obviously we're seeing that prefigurement of the Eucharist. Whenever we talk about the sixth chapter of the Gospel of John, our Lord is very forceful in his language about how important this is and how much his true presence, again, really is at the center of the gift of the Holy Eucharist. So much so that as we go, kind of track ahead, we know that people walk away from him on this very point, and he's willing to accept that fact. So we need to be able to uphold all of those teachings of Christ, to be holy as he calls us to be, to be in communion, to again receive that gift of holy communion. All of this will help us because when we're in such a place, the graces received then can be actioned into those deeper realms of where God wants to lead us on our own journeys of life here to be part of that greater body of Christ and to serve his church. So with all of that on this feast day of St. Pius V, we ask for his intercession as we pray. St. Pius V, pray for us. With trust in our Lord and Savior, we now bring our prayers before him this day. The shepherds of the church, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the good shepherd, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, 
which no one can take from them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Continue to pray for all of those who are sick and suffering, most especially those suffering from COVID-19. For our healthcare workers and all those who are serving on the front lines in this time of pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, as we celebrate this Mass this morning, remember Richard Katinas in the prayer of this liturgy, and let us also offer up our own prayers to the Lord in the silence of our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we lift our hearts before you this day, asking your abundant mercies. Help us to follow you, and we ask this uh, through you on this holy day of St. Pius V. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered to your glory, in honor of blessed St. Pius V, a means to our eternal salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, us Savior, Savior of the world. world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, and Robert our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. With Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. However, we can invite you now to make a sign of peace to one another. On your stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the communion antiphon. The good shepherd has laid down his life for his sheep. Alleluia. My friends, I now invite you to join me in a prayer of spiritual communion. We pray, my Jesus. My Jesus. I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present. In the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment. Since I cannot at this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacraments we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed St. Pius burned so ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And I invite you to join me in the praying of the St. Michael prayer. We pray, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits, prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have a great day, everyone.